Hey, hey, everybody. It's JQ. What's up, everybody? Another video here from my hobby room. What's, what's up? What's up, everybody? Hi, I'm Joseph Quagrain from Mugen Seki Race. Jumalauta, mitä mä keksin tähän alkuun? Just roll the intro. Hello? Is that JQ? I'm Jason Snyder. I'm Adam Drake. And today? Sorry, what? Just roll the intro. Uh, intro. Intro? You want an intro? Okay, here's the deal. I got fired by JQ Racing. I'm sorry, you're fired. As a driver. Get out of here. This pretty much happens every year, but this year I, I wasn't able to buy a new spot on the team so i'm fired as a driver i need a new career and i looked into youtube i discovered that there's a lot of youtube channels and a lot of rc youtube channels too so i researched a bit i tried to find something that i could do some way that i could add some value to the world of rc racing since my racing days seem to be over since i was fired um so yeah, I'm going to try this new thing. I'm going to try and be an RC YouTube celebrity worth somewhere between two, two to three million US dollars within the next three years. That's my goal. I think I could get a billion views or so. I'm pretty sure. So that basically that's my plan. But I don't exactly know what I'm going to be doing. So today, for the first video of this new channel, we are going to watch some RC YouTube channels and try to figure out what I could do to add some value and to become famous. At least more famous than Ryan Styles Harris. That's the goal. Okay, so here goes. Let's uh, check some videos. Um, okay, we start with TLR, Team uh, Losers and Retards. Uh, what is that? Team Last Resort. On the rear hexes. Oh, I can't hear anything. I always forget these. It's just so everybody understands. Um, the pin on these hexes is not captured. So if you look at how offset this hex is, the wheel only That's comes to about thick here. thick hex. Right? Jesus. So this pin is exposed. So if that pin comes loose, the whole wheel and everything falls off the car. You know, that hex makes me just think of that. that uh, it's almost like they're compensating for something. That is super this wide. This pin is exposed. So if that pin comes loose, the whole wheel and everything falls off the car. Okay, the wheels came off this first YouTube video already. So... Let's see what The Last Resort is putting out here on YouTube. Okay, so they have some builds, they build cars, they have some live shows with some people. Thursday TLR talk. What else do they have here? Race breakdown, TLR8X Elite build series. So they're building a lot of cars online. 22X4 build series. Building a lot. In touch with TLR. Well, that's two years ago. We scrolled down way too far. Thursday TLR talk. Let's just listen. What's what's this like? Okay. Three dudes chatting away. I think now it's at the point as far as like being prepared and preparation and all that. Like 
every you know everyone has uh, has good stuff and uh, you know pretty pretty maxed out and it's just kind of you know, everyone's kinda maxed out and just as technology progresses okay so yeah so tlr car builds interviews uh good basic stuff okay let's check out someone else nemo racing what's going on here we've got a divide in the screen look so it looks like we're kind of doing the, the split screen thing that's yeah. john hazelnuts yeah. here how are you doing i'm good how's good. your week been it's all right how about yours yeah and leroy Lovely. Lovely. you look very tan still thanks mate we're Been building a track in the barbados as well <laughs> yeah it's uh as banbury that's where we're coming to you from okay actually we're keeping it in the bees yeah. what's happening here just, okay. just over there uh you can see our lovely setting i know we've got a bar there but even without the track it's a pretty awesome talking about drinks and bars in barbados that was my house. straight away on a house move yeah <laughs> like a hippo yes he's over there <laughs> He came from Cuba. He's a ledge. He did, probably. Uh, tent's definitely doing the splits now. Lord. Tent's flying away. Yeah, okay, well. interesting. Uh, what do Nemo Racing post? So they have a bunch of these live shows that they do. Talk about option parts on their new, new car. Hi, it's Lee Martin from Nemo Racing, and today I want to talk to you about chassis waves. Chassis weights. Well, we don't care about chassis weights here. Okay. Have a drone chase video. Okay. This is interesting. Nice shots. Gives me a headache. Um, well, that's pretty much what they post. Let's check someone else. A main. Time for A main. Number one, not balance charging the LiPo. It's absolutely necessary that every single time you charge your LiPo battery, that it's on the balance charge mode. I uh, already had enough of this. 10 RC LiPo mistakes and how to avoid them. So let's see what A main is up to. So, cars, 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 all kinds of, you know. That, Traxxas has been busy creating and releasing their next gen line of vehicles, equipped with cool and. Okay, that's cool, Traxxas. Not interested, it's not racing. I'm only into racing. Okay, what's this? We are back at it with part three of our B6.2 buggy build series. We a box stock Tima 7.5 selling motor. stuff. The drive buggy that we stuff. had, so we didn't buy follow the build from the manual exactly as the manual stated it step by step and it actually worked out pretty dang good. We also did a little experiment where we wanted to temp the motor temperatures Okay, okay, so building cars, advertising products to sell, reviewing cars, how-tos, basic RC stuff, okay. RC driver online. So you just bought your first RC car, or you're doing a little bit of research right now before you buy your first RC car, and you want to know what mis- You just bought your first RC car. Okay, so more, more content aimed at the beginner. So you- Let's see. Back to work, radical OC bar, not racing. Okay, this is a racing car. Let's see what they do here. Oh, okay. we don't skip this. Hey, what's going on, RC drivers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm at RC Madness in Enfield, Connecticut, because I'm finally going to run the Team Losey Racing 22 5.0 AC. A little while back, we did an overview video of... Okay, so he's running the car. What else? What do we get here? This acceleration to it. Bit of a review of how it drives. Very responsive. What? Oh my God, we have to watch some ads. Two ads. Oh. A disaster. Of course, because it's on carpet. But this, uh, 
overshot that a little bit, but still good. What else is there to this, this video? Thing is I like this thing. It's been fun. Okay. Right. GoPro man likes I mean, it's it. It's just very predictable car to drive, in my opinion. Uh, you know, again, if you're going to go and pick one of these up, go find a good setup off the TLR Racing website, throw it on there, see what other drivers are using at the track for tires. Uh, I was using Proline tires. They seem to hook up really well. Okay, pretty basic general information. What's this then? Approximately 10 hours later. What the hell is going on? Just fast Revo. I'm gonna drop my Revo today, but that's not what this video is all about. Today's video is all about. Sorry, you can't see whenever the sun's behind me. Today's video is all about five things I wish I knew when I started RC and not RC racing, just RC in general. So let's get to it. Again, beginner content. It looks like so, more vlog style. This, but I'm going to okay. go in order of least Full important party. to most important that I wish I knew. Um, I want to hear so The first one, one is, I wish I would have bought... They're quiet back there. It scares me when they get... If you have kids, when it gets quiet, it's super scary. Anyways, the first thing I wish is, when I started, I wish I would have never bought tires that you had to mount. I wish I would have bought pre-mounts right off the bat. And I give you two examples. The first set of tires I ever bought were okay, auto tires for a this. Nitro Forte. Okay, so what does he do? How to drive a new off-road RC car track for the first time. Okay, reasons why you should not be intimidated or scared to race RC cars. Must do Kyosho Mini Z mod. Getting into RC racing from the world's best RC drivers. Okay, so it looks like a lot of bashing, some racing. Mystery RC package from Canada. Bad RC car crash, what to inspect. Like basic beginner content, bashing, racing, real talk, some live I'm show so he does. Scared of it anymore. Okay, yep. I'm not even gonna say what it is. Live like, show. Maybe people go into my channel, and you right. won't see it if you go to my channel, but if you click a playlist and you search for a playlist, you can't find it. It is a YouTube flaw. It's a bug. Talking about YouTube flaws. What else? What else can we find here? RC racing at night under the lights. Grassroots racing. <laughs> so. Post box racing. No. Oh. It it's going to be like old school grassroots RC racing. I'm not even running. I'm not running truggy. I'm going to run e-buggy because I like running my e-buggy. And e-buggy. Like oh my God. Almost done with check this guy. Them. You should check them out. I don't know if your local track is running them, but if they are, check them out. Just so vlogging, e -buggy local is the only club possible. racing. Oh. And hot. It's okay, so in general hot. sort of RC content. This used to be a gigantic, gigantic class down south. Introducing new here people at this track. to RC kind There's of two stuff. full heats of it. Okay, let's move on. Hey, hey, everybody, Jay here. I'm back with another quick video for you guys today. Today, team associated driver Ron Duvall came up here to Rain Man's Raceway in Bakersfield, California. He brought his B74, and I got a chance to run it. Of course, he got a chance to run it a bunch. That's okay, so what's this? A bit of a review? <laughs> Unboxing? All the bearings. It looks like these are... This is pretty slick. This is one thing that I like. One thing I think is a good idea. Like I said, I'm sorry you guys can't see this a little bit better. I'm looking now at the uh, viewfinder, and I'm seeing that there's just a tremendous amount of glare. But if you look carefully, you'll see that these are metal shielded bearings on one side. Okay, so unboxing video, the classic Drake Cavalieri block pass interview. I've seen that one. What else do we have here? Three favorite 10 scale servos, 59, 89, 109. Install a servo perfectly. Looks like he hasn't been uploading lately though. Most videos are kind of old. So again, sort of beginner content, more tailored to the beginner. Okay, let's see. Cole Ogden. Nice. Nice drum footage. Where are we at? You know, what's, what's going on? Loganville. I'm not too sure exactly where Loganville is. My boy. <laughs> Like, I think it's more of a difference if it's narrow, like, like this. Not just swapping the heck. But, um, 
to film the walk up to get some chicken. <laughs> okay, so it looks like some vlogging action going on here. Do you have enough tea to fill this thing up? Like a five gallon bucket? <laughs> like, yeah, my, my buddy Blaze right here likes sweet tea. Love sweet tea. Love it. Okay, oh, vlogging action. What else? Okay, so this is a new channel. It's a month old. RC cars, baby. Southern Nationals track war. All right, this looks interesting. You know, the track has time to develop. But, um, no, nah, I mean, it took place around probably noon this year. I think I had maybe hit the track two or three times. Okay, before. nice. So Cole commenting on his, what is that? Seating. Seating run. Cool, cool. So sort of vlogging action. Some race commentary. Okay, what's next? Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Yugensiki Racing. It's boom. I'll show you how I cut out my body. Cut out okay. Body Let's see. What else? Scissors. Proline tires. Some laps. Talks about tools. Once again, like, uh, looks like pretty, like, entry-level information here. How to tell if your nitro engine is worn out. Proline M and S compounds. Carburetor settings. Servo saver adjustment. So it's like a lot of how-to and a lot of advice going on here. How to do this, how to do that. A few laps thrown in. Let's, let's watch this. How to know when to change nitro engine bearings. Again with the ads. So many ads. Hi, I'm Adam Drake from You Can Seek Your Racing. Today I'm going to talk about engine bearings. And this is something that I think is often overlooked. And I think a lot of it is just because Where's he going to say how to do it? aren't really aware of what to look for 42 to seconds. know if and if the bearings are starting to have problems you. you'll have problems with tune you'll have problems with power and those problems can turn into a lot bigger problem so let's get started and we'll kind of go over uh, what to look for so with the front bearing typically you'll never notice any noise from the front engine bearing but what you will start to notice is you'll see that the engine is maybe see seeping or leaking fuel out of the front bearing. Now a little bit of fuel residue is fine. And if your engine's running good, just keep on going. Okay, okay. Land it on and a fin is cracked. So what I like to do is I'll take my tuning screwdriver, the rubber end on it, and I'll kind of push it and hold it on the cooling head on, on the fins just to check and make sure that it's not a cracked fin that's causing that kind of raspy or howling noise. Um, like as if the bear okay. rag. So we as have some shafts trying to spin. Decent information. So you may here. notice Short engine temp starting to go up. Advice. But again, pretty basic. Okay, what do we have here? So now I polish my shaft here and uh... David's polishing his shaft. Now it's time to get on to my second step to put the O-rings inside the, the cartridge. So what I do for this is that I use the XTR. Uh, I think it's out now at the Rona Falk Edition Greece. For so you have to okay, put the washer so there. Some quality and twist the piston. I don't know build if you can... stuff. How ready. to build shocks? There is absolutely no air inside now. So it... let's see. How to build my performer cap shocks, how I build my emulsion style shocks, some practice laps, uh, some vlog stuff from races, some laps, worlds, videos, what shock piston for your HB racing buggy, tune your HB racing with steering. So again, like building how to's, some vlogs. Okay, looks good. And this guy. This is the challenge that I think a lot of the realm of RC racing has in general. There's this interesting carryover of people that are drawn into the concept of driving a little remote control car. Okay, so they vlog content. Perhaps have experienced, I don't, don't really know what the mindset would be. A healthy relationship for people to have with racing RC cars. The philosophy of RC here. Of hard work. Okay, let's go check out his videos. The RC racers need to talk about, see? Was that the video we just watched? Yeah. 
philosophy of RC. Short course. Okay, some race report, blog style, race reports, how to prepare for a race, how to install. Again, how to do this, how to do that. More and more five tips to win on race day. My first RC carpet race. Okay, so a lot of vlogs, a lot of how to's. Again, good sort of promotion for RC. Racing. Yeah, man. Racing, not bashing. Okay. So there's a lot of content out there already. And uh, a lot of it looks scary good too. So what the hell can I do? What can I add? I need to think about this. Several months later. I got it. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. Do you remember the blog I used to write? Um, yeah, this thing. Remember this? I'm going to do the blog, but in video form. So over here, for example, I did this kind of stuff. Slow motion video of different setups. Okay, writing about it, a lap video, writing about which sections of the track the car did what. Same for down travel, explaining the difference of setting down travel and explaining what it does on different sections of the track. This would be way easier to do this way. You have video of the car and the track, I can show it and explain in real time here. Silly season stuff. You can talk about it in a YouTube video instead of writing it here. Barry Baker. Wow. Does anyone remember Cameron Kyle Neff? Wonder what that guy's doing now. Okay. Oh, I got a real job. Now I'm a YouTuber. I don't need a real job anymore. Yeah, so that's the kind of stuff I could do. I could do my blog, but on YouTube. More in depth, like next level, not the entry level for beginners setup stuff, but more in depth and sort of higher level, next level setup stuff. I have the book coming out too. That's it. So I have the setup guide. It's going to be called Invisible Speed. So the book will be released. And after the book is released, I could go through the book, but in video form. That's what I'm going to do. So I take some bits of the book and do a video about them. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And also some things I'm going to do just like this. So I comment on videos or websites or people or products or something like that. Talk about a video of laps around a track. But then some subjects, some subjects I think I need to do a proper video on. Actually like edit it properly and uh, take, take time to really make a good video. Only on subjects that I can't find a good existing video on. So the first one, the first one that I think that I want to make is on engine tuning, because that's the number one complaint about nitro racing. People have like, oh, my engine doesn't run. I don't know how to tune my engine, this kind of stuff. So let's check some engine tuning, current engine tuning videos to see what's happening to see what's out there okay here we go what we do now is we start it up and we run it up and down and we show you a tuning method that we look for the idea is you run it up and down flat out come to a stop let it idle for 30 seconds and then you um, 10 seconds the idle should drop and then after the rest of did he say drop? For the 20 seconds, the seconds the idle should drop. And then after what the, hell? the rest of the 20, 10 seconds, the idle should drop. Okay. Well, that's not the way to do it, Craddock. You should know better. Next video. Oh. See, when I did it immediately, I had no hesitation. It just went up there quick. That's the kind of bottom end that I'm wanting. 
Then I'll do a slow pull. And what that is, I'll clean the motor out, and then I'll just pull the neat throttle open very slowly. Canadian tuning. And with VP Fuel, you can get that. There is no hesitation. Oh. There's no blowout on mid range. Sounds like There's an no advert to me. It just takes that, that throttle curve. Okay, this is like only tuning for VP Fuel. It's just smooth all the way through. It's nice and smooth. Another it's smooth because of VP Fuel. So let's go to the next video. This was the most views I've seen on a Nitro engine video, 535,000. So Hey, welcome to NitroRCX.com. Today we're going to be looking at fine tuning your Nitro engine. We have a pretty good break-in video that details the high speed needle, the low speed needle, what's lean, what's rich. We'll touch up a little bit on that just or you get an air filter that flows better increasing fuel flow by using that what taper this to engine? regulate fuel. Now when you turn it clockwise, when you turn it down, you're basically leaning the mixture which is giving the carburetor less fuel. Now if you turn it backwards, turn it out. That looks like something from the left, 70s. That taper. And right, let's get to the tuning here. Any fine tune changes. So install the cold plug igniter. Make sure you prime it to get fuel going to the carb. Pull start. And no air filter. And let's give it a give it a start. Five hundred and thirty-five thousand views. I'm gonna talk, right? Okay. Now notice guys, I stopped so you guys can hear me better, but notice notice guys as the engine gets hotter. Yeah, at least I have an air filter on now. Remember, remember what we mentioned earlier by one hour increments? I gave it a two hour change. I gave it a two hour counterclockwise change to make it richer. So we're gonna go for another high speed pass and see if that pinging disappears. Notice a lot more smoke what is coming this out engine? now for the high speed pass. We have less pinging. This sounds like a turd, seriously. Next video. So 535,000 views. Oh, this guy again. Uh, my lawyers have warned me about watching this person's content, so I'm going to be nice. But in today's video, it's going to be the basics. This is going to... Basics. Again, just the basics. Okay, let's just move on. I like clutch. So as you see, the engine is kind of rich. That's uh, for the purpose of the video. Uh, just vive la French guy French in Canada. Uh, so it's flush here, flush here, and flush here too. French Canadians. The first uh, can French Canadian the video I've seen on YouTube. Oh look. JTQ. JQ. Almost there. So close. I almost didn't need to make a video about tuning engines. Okay. There's tuning an engine here. As you can see now, top speed is better, but still not there, so we can need more time. Okay, okay, decent, decent effort. Let's go on a bit. Okay. Explaining the bottom end, that's good. Okay, it seems like this is a decent video. Just a lot going on here, a lot going on. We can still do better. When we first start the engine, we want to make sure that it, you know, at least is running uh, reasonably tuned on the box. But then uh, once the engine's heated and you, you start to tune, you're going to tune the top end needle, which is here. And then you have uh, the bottom end needle, which is on the other side, down below. And then you'll start to tune your bottom end needle. And then you have the idle screw, which is, again, over here on this side, next to the high speed needle to get the idle right. 
So that, that's the order that we focus is the top end needle and we get the top end needle to just inside the RPMs that we want on the straightaway and then we focus on the bottom end needle and get that tuned right. Uh, when we first start the engine, we're going to okay, warm it up, blah, blah. Get to the tuning. What's the tuning? Driving. Engine's a little Pull bit whips. too lean. It's not too great for the engine. But okay. A lot going on. A bit confusing. What's happening here? So now? what you have is you can hear the, the ballistic RPMs and then the idle runs on because the engine is starved for fuel. So it won't idle right either uh, when it's too lean on the top end. Um, and I, I, I can't stress enough that um, most sportsman level drivers when they make mistakes tuning uh, they just have the top end way too lean, like what we just heard in the example where the idle wouldn't settle down and it was lean on the bottom. So most of the time when errors are made in tuning, it's way too lean on the top and way too fat on the bottom. So you want to try and get that bottom end leaned to where the idle will lay down and then you can bring the idle down with your idle screw. And then Cody's okay. going to let it come back to idle. Once it comes back to idle, we just wait one count and then pinch the fuel line and wait to see how long until the idle starts to rise up. So it should be okay, about a lot of information in this video. This is the best the video so far, but it's still a bit all over the place. I can, I can imagine that it's hard to follow for uh, someone who's learning to tune an engine, but a lot of valuable information here too. This is actually the best engine tuning video I found when I was looking. Intro. But Baja, skip it. <laughs> y cuando cerramos, Sorry, guys. baja, abrimos media. Es un poco, un poco lío, pero one big está problem. claro. Realmente tienen que ir las dos agujas. A... No habla español. It's in Spanish. You have to read. I have to read subtitles. It's unacceptable. Hacia el mismo sentido todo el rato de esta manera. Por lo tanto. Cuando llevamos las agujas okay. hacia Robert has mi... some dance veremos in it too. que el motor es un poco más suave, un poquito más dulce. Vemos que está this bien, por ejemplo, que cambia lot. This más must be good stuff. alto o más bajo. No es problema de ralentí, es problema de bajas. Así que no os liéis tocando el ralentí. También puede llegar a ser que cuando quiero decir que está un poquito graso, pero ahora es lo engraso mucho más para que veáis la diferencia. Vemos que cuesta mucho acelerar. Okay. A lot of Spanish, a lot of dancing. No tira de golpe, hace gol. Está un poco... This is the best engine tuning Igual, video ahora I've found. Ahora está... El ralentí vemos que ha entrado idol. un poquito arriba. Idol has entered it before. Esto quiere bit. decir que está un poco cerrado arriba. Cuando está muy cerrado arriba, veremos que hasta se queda acelerado. Vemos cómo se acelera mucho. Abrimos. That's super lean. Ok. Marcadora, que esté el ralentí bien, que no se nos pare y que al acelerar tampoco se nos pare de graso, que estire bien. Como vemos, has tirado un poquito de humo al inicio porque se está engrasando un poco, como hemos dicho. Si dejamos 15 segundos, aceleramos y sale muy rápido. Quiere decir, básicamente, recordar el tema del acelerado. Es un poco complejo realmente carburar un motor okay. a la perfección. Okay, a pretty good video on listo, engine tuning. Las temperaturas sí... Si, si... So, is there anything left for me to do then, actually? Yes, I think so. Because... All those engine tuning videos, they were all different and they all had something good about them, 
but then they also lacked something else. So there wasn't one video that covered everything from start to finish. How the engine works, how the carburetor works, how to tune it, blah, 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 show how to tune it, all the different scenarios. There wasn't one video that I found that just explained all of it. So if you have someone who wants to learn to tune an engine, you just say, watch this video. You have everything you know, you need to know, sort of. Like this will teach you how to tune. There wasn't a video like that, really, that I found. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's my first attempt at a proper YouTube video, how to tune a nitro engine. And the main reason why I wanted to do this video was that there's a secret to tuning these engines and not one single video that I watched revealed the secret, but I will. So watch that video when it comes out. Nitro engine tuning and not just for newbies, even experienced racers who've been racing for a decade. I think if they watch that video, they might learn something new. I really seriously do think so. So there you have it. That's what, what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna be doing some videos, in-depth videos, going a bit deeper into a subject, really figuring something out, like tuning engines, for example. That's gonna be the first one. And actually, if you want some more next level information, not just you know how to do something and the basics for beginners, but some more valuable information, some more sort of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Let's Google it. There we go. More detailed, int intricate, complex, involved, elaborate. Yep. If you want videos like that, then comment below. Comment below what subjects you would like those videos to cover. For example, you, now you know the first one will be on tuning engines and how the carb works. But after that, like, what do you want to know? Like, someone already told me they want to see a video on shocks. So pistons, springs, shock oils. What's, what's it all about? You know, shock positions. So all about suspension, shocks. So that's one really good topic to cover. But are there other topics that I should cover and make a proper long form video explaining everything I know about that subject? Let me know. I'll try and get those done. Maybe I don't know how many, but uh, one here, one there. The more common videos will be, you know, less, less elaborate and uh, not as produced. So it's just me sitting here recording very minor edits. It's just ad lib as we go. And I, I can still cover subjects in a detailed fashion, but it's not going to be as good and as polished as as these few fewer videos that I make. So comment below with all kinds of subjects and I'll pick the best ones and make the long form videos on those. And then the other subjects I'll cover in videos like these. And uh, I'm probably gonna suck at this in the beginning, but as time goes on, I'll, I'm gonna improve. And uh, I decided that I'm gonna try this for a year. So until the end of next year, that's how long I'm gonna do this actively like really i'm gonna try and produce a ton of videos and what i think to be good content so that sort of sharing information that's helpful and also going over the sort of my past best blogs and making videos out of those because there were some that were really popular not just about setting up up cars but also like the mental approach to racing and how to practice and test and all of those kind of things i'll do videos on those subjects also and uh then we'll do some fun videos too like a video ranking the top drivers in the world that's going to be fun i think i'll try and do some live youtube live streams also so i can do some q and a's with people watching hopefully i don't know if uh, people will watch on youtube Facebook was decent, but I think I can do a better job on YouTube still. So live Q and A's, I can interview people. So I can record interviews with people and then upload them. I can do live interviews with people too. I think that could be fun. So there's a lot of different things that I can do. And uh, I'll do it for a year. I'll see if I'm any good, if people enjoy them, if people watch subscribe like share 
um, support on Patreon. If it's worth me doing this, if people find value in it, then I'll keep doing them. And if not, then I'll figure figure something else out. But honestly, I think that this can this is probably the best way to share information now, and uh, I think it's going to be good. I think I'll be doing this for longer than just the one year. Yeah. Let's have some fun.